hi guys welcome to my channel in today's tutorial i will address the physics problem that has been troubling a level physics students for some time now this problem is on newton's second law of motion the attitudes machine problem so let us look at the problem so the problem says determine the cable tension and the acceleration of the masses in this etude machine so how are we going to do that we have to revisit newton's second law of motion so here is newton's second law of motion force is equal to mass times acceleration but this force here is the net force acting on a body so looking at our diagram how many forces do we have okay. there is a force putting the system downward that is mg there is also another force on the other side which is also mg now we can name this mass here m1 and the other one m2 so that this becomes m1g then the other one becomes m2 gym now if this is going down then there is a tension in this slope opposing the motion and this slope rope here is the same as that rope there so the tension even on the other side is the same so we have a situation like this we have one string there then there is a force in that direction there is another force in that direction so if this is t and this is t acting in the opposite direction when we add these two we should get zero so the system is like there is no tension there is no force in this rope there okay if we look at it that way now how many forces are many we have two forces we can clearly tell that this system is moving in that direction because this is a 10 kg mass which is bigger than the 6 kg mass so uh, this here would determine the direction of the motion so we have now two forces remaining so the two forces remaining are like this we have a system in between made of two masses so we have this system so this can be m1 then the other one can be m2 then we have m2 g there and we have m1 g here okay now the direction of the motion is in this direction in the direction of whom? m1 g so first we have to determine the the acceleration by making it the subject in that formula so acceleration is equals to the net force the net force over m so a is equals to the net force we have now two forces many we have m1 g minus m2 g over uh, this net force from this simple diagram that i've drawn here we have one system made of two masses so the mass there is made of mass one plus mass two so substituting we have m1 minus m2 we can factorize g then down here we have m1 plus m2 now let us substitute the values for m1 m2 and g so m1 is 10 minus m2 is 6 this multiplied by 9.81 over that is 10 
and that is 6. Now, what are we having? Okay, we are having 2.45 2.45 meters per second squared. So, this is the acceleration of the system. That is the acceleration of mass 1 and it is also the acceleration of mass 2. Now, how are we going to determine the tension in the row? So, to determine the tension, we have to look at the two bodies separately. We have to look at the two bodies separately. So, looking at one of these bodies, we have this body here. So this is M1. So then there is force M1 G there, there and there is force tension up here. Now this body is accelerating. This body is accelerating. If it is accelerating then we have that F is equal to ma now the resultant force here again that is f net now the motion is in that direction implying that m1g is greater than the tension so m1g is positive minus this is being opposed by the tension okay these two forces are acting on this body which is m1 with acceleration a so making t the subject there what do we have we have t is equals to m1 a minus that is m1 g this will go to the other side okay then this will come to the other side minus m1 m minus m1 m now let us substitute okay we can factorize m1 okay then we have g minus a so what would be tension tension would be t is equals to m1 is 10 then g is 9.81 minus a is 2.45 okay and that's the value found in the first problem there okay so if you compute this you should have t equal to so compute that please try it so you should have 73.56 newtons okay if you don't want to use that diagram you can also use the other one which is the free body diagram of M2 so these diagrams are called the free body diagrams so we have tension there now this side we have M2 G now in this case M2 is moving up implying that tension is greater than M2 G so we have f is equal to ma now the resultant force is due to t1 minus m2 g i mean that is just t t1 okay. is equal to these two forces are acting on m2 if we are doing the correct thing we should get the same value for t even if we use different bodies so solving for t here we have this will go to the other side and we can factorize m2 then we have if we factorize m2 when this goes to the other side it becomes positive then if we factorize m2 will be common then we'll have g plus a okay please try that you should have this okay then m2 is 6 now you have 
9.81 plus 2.45 so if the value of acceleration in the first place if it is if it is wrongly calculated the value for tension here is not going to be the same so let's see so if you compute for t there you should have 73.56 newtons so that's how you solve problems like this one on the attitude machine okay please keep following my my channel so that together we can solve more problems okay please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you see you next time